Um, yes, it does. All right, great. Um, oh my God, this thing is so bad. All right, everyone, it is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, still getting used to um, this thing is so bad. That. Still getting used to. Oh, I gotta move my camera, don't I? Trying to do Bitcoin Clown World live format while live streaming this, so I think this is correct. Yeah, uh, I think that's good enough. Yes, morning Tucker Paladin, morning South Minami. Um, so uh, this is this is so aggravating, like having to set everything up, and I can't set it up beforehand. I have to go live first, then set it. But I guess this will be the small price that YouTube's gonna have to pay in order for me to do this. I right, pop up chat. So we'll go over here. Oh yeah, I love that little Kirby thing. All right, so anyway, uh, so, oh, you can't see it, but basically everything's a disaster. Predicted it has been uh, scamming everyone. I'll probably go over this in the actual additional stream after this one. Because, uh, you know, usually Bitcoin clown should be focused mostly on money and Bitcoin and stuff. Because <laughs> it has to go on uh, YouTube. But yeah, they still had some bets yesterday. I'm now down for sure 5,500 bucks. And then this is the remaining money. Uh, which is seven grand or six grand or something like that. The good news is Trump does seem to be fighting pretty hard. Um, oh, I gotta say, I gotta go live. So let's see, uh, what does Trump have? Because he's been going on a tweet storm, so I might, I so I might be pausing during this to uh, farm his tweets. But the good news is, he's actually starting to um, go pretty ham. Yeah, hey Rhodesian Zoomer. Yeah. Um, but you know, we'll get to the Trump portion uh, of Bitcoin Cloud World once uh, we go through the motions. Oh, I should probably turn on my VPN. VPN. Uh, connect. Yeah, yes, because we want to be in Brazil. We are in Brazil. All right. Now hold on. See now, I've I've been because a long time ago I had like something called Alpicia Ariana, and there's like a bump like on the top of my head that I never got rid of and it's like hurting as hell that's why I don't have my headphones on in fact I've been streaming so much for so many hours that I think the headphones are starting to finally irritate the thing on my top of my head that hurts so um oh I never hit the refresh button and all this shit so uh yeah my, my my top of my head's finally had enough and says okay we're gonna we're gonna be in pain all the time and it's just really annoying okay so we're good here and i gotta refresh google trends ow so uh, it's still hurting so i literally just bought some speakers from amazon and then of course there's nowhere else to buy it and uh it's gonna arrive friday so i gotta suffer for at least a few more days ow I, don't know, I think maybe I'm going to have to actually open up Google search. Relieve pain on skin. Uh, I, uh, actually, I should get like an ice pack or something. I do have it in the freezer. Uh, yeah, I mean, I want to do that. So, all right. And then we want to go into my call options here for AMD. So it's working pretty well. So let's open that up. All right. So anyway, um, I don't know, what can I really say? I mean, there's so much going on, news-wise. Well, I want to save that for the next portion. So basically, I'll just say this. Um, because, again, this is for the YouTube normies. So basically, Trump's not conceding the election, which is good. Um, interestingly enough, uh, I have no idea how the market's going to react because there's just too many uh, uh, variables. Also, because I don't have the speakers, I want to make sure nothing is on. So... Um, uh, it, it's going to be volatile. Um, as for Bitcoin, uh, crypto is doing extremely well. So we've got that going for me. And this is important for me because I need to sell sometime around, today's the 15th, so maybe around December, yeah, December 28th, I'm going to sell my Litecoin on my figure up to crypto exchange and then just hope that Litecoin's as high as possible and then just collect some spending cash for that because, you know, I need to, I need to, you know, the, the money in the bank account's actually starting to, starting to become a problem. Like, I can still last for at least several more months, but, you know, I think in terms of years, 
you know, so, you know, because that, because I have a very large safety margin of, ah, margin of safety, so, oh my God, this, this stupid thing up here, so annoying, ow, so, uh, yeah, so let's get into it, uh, Bitcoin searches have finalized at 17 for last week, which is kind of interesting, like, crypto was down for a little bit, but for the most part, it's gone back up, so, uh, normies are not looking into it, that's, technically pretty good that means the, the bull run for crypto will have a lot more room to run now the thing is we have to factor in the lockdowns because it's not just in america just in america but i'm gonna have to get the stupid ice pack because this thing's constantly irritating me. ridiculous for a bit oh yeah oh oh yeah there we go so uh because there are lockdowns all over the world um well i mean normies are gonna have a hard harder time i think i mu i mentioned it in the live stream i don't know if i mentioned it in last week's bitcoin uh clown world but um uh, because normies can't get jobs due to the stupid asshole lockdown uh, they, they're not going to have disposable income to go into crypto. So, and, and of course, that's the purpose, right? Keep the people poor, the rich keep getting richer, and then we all have to buy our shit from Microsoft or Amazon or Walmart. Oh, this actually helps because I felt the spasm, but then because I'm numbing the pain with this cold. Oh yeah, this is this is this is like the best idea I've had yet all morning. So. Um, but uh, yeah, but oh, otherwise, you know, it looks like a typical. I want to keep going because in the format, I used to just always say the volume or whatever, but it's pretty much normal and standard. So Bitcoin's at nineteen thousand four hundred, a little under that. Litecoin's at like eighty one forty one because that's what uh, I'm in personally. XRP, I guess I'm not the really whoa. XRP has dropped to forty seven cents. All right, well, I guess that sells that. Once I get my flare tokens, I'm going to just start dumping them. But, I mean, it did get super heated because it went way up. So, well, that sucks. So, XRP's down. All right, well, that's fine. Then that's, that means I'm not going to hold my XRP. I'm just going to dump all my XRP and then convert into Litecoin. Actually, I should probably do that. Oh, man, I've got a lot to do. Um, how to relieve... Okay, well, I have an ice pack, so that's good. Uh, let me see. Let me check my BTT stakes. Uh, confirmed, dismiss result. Because I'm gonna, because I still have an account on Probit. Hey, hey, classical conservator, what's up? <laughs> Pepe with a tiki torch. I always found the tiki. I better not say because I don't want to get banned or, you know, rape or uh, ass rammed by the SPLC. But I always thought the uh, tiki torch event, we'll just call it that, was uh, just hilarious. I personally would not have gone because it's still bad optics, but still pretty funny. Ah, oh, okay. Ah, oh. oh, that should help a little. Oh, yeah. So, um, now what was I saying? Uh, yeah. So XRP and Stellar Lumens is going down too. So yeah, I definitely have to dump my XRP, and then once I get my flare tokens, I'm gonna dump that too. Uh, in fact, what is there called? Flare Network. Flare Network. Because I still haven't gotten my shit yet. Uh, despite incoming Flare Network drop. Uh, well, that's why, because people just bought XRP just for the Flare. Uh, yeah. Oh, LMAO at that. Well, I want to be careful with that word just in case. Uh, bad word. Rapport that said that her ancestors were rolling in their graves. Yeah, bitch, but not for the reasons you think. Oh, I think you're referring to the Tiki Torch event, yeah. That's so funny. I can't say it, so I call it the Tiki Torch event. That's so funny. Uh, okay, Flare Twitter. Because <clears throat> I have a Twitter. <clears throat> uh, exchange list, 15 hours. Uh, is it out? 
Is already adding value utility XRP ledger, large number of users are with XRP on Sunday pain and adjusting. Okay, so this is why it's going down. So it looks like Flare is active. So I'm just going to dump all my coins and then go back into uh, Litecoin. And that'll be that. Oh, this is actually kind of nice. Last time was 10 people. Now it's 16. Uh, so, all right. So my play is I'm just going to get out of XRP and, you know, do the standard crypto. I mean, if some of you guys want to get XRP, maybe now's a good time to buy because it's going down. But it might also continue to go down because, remember, all these cryptos, they have to go up reasonably in relation to everyone else, especially Bitcoin. All right. Because this is all... Basically, cryptos are like 90, ah, shit, 90 to 100% uh, correlated. So if Bitcoin goes up like 10 bucks, 90% correlation means everything goes up $9, you know, to put it simply. So um, so just keep that in mind. Me, I'm just going back to Litecoin because I need to simplify my stuff. So, you know, but, uh, you know, I, I, I made a play. I got double money. Uh, and I'm happy with that because I don't know how much flair is, but you know, whatever. Do you ever go over the basics of trading crypto? A lot of my friends that took up trades have started getting into that in stocks, but I'm way away for college. LOL. Uh, yeah, I mean, I do that all the time. Oh, thanks, Tucker Paladin, for the diamond. I've got 2K to play, but with no crypto experience. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to recommend all of you do this, do the safe bet, which is just simply buy Litecoin, right? Or. Uh, Bitcoin Direct or any of these major cryptocurrencies. Personally, I just tell everyone to buy Litecoin and then just hold it and then just go up, go on about your lives. Um, because oh, because yeah, we could. I could tell you about proof of stake mining, which I, which is the purpose of this show, but it's a little too risky for new people, I think, because the price keeps going down. So, uh, your coin. Yeah, I, 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 I buy Litecoin. Uh, and I also created cryptocurrencies. Like these two I made, Speedcoin and 100coin, but uh, other coins I made with a partner, and he's basically abandoning the project. He's working on other projects, so yeah, the value keeps going down. But we're going to get into that once uh, we look at Yahoo Finance. So I have a put option on AMZ. Where's my thing? So you can see it here. I think you guys can see the whole thing. So the reason why I bought this was it's just a short play, a short term play, because, you know, the CCP leaks named AstraZeneca, which is ASEAN right here, and Pfizer as implicated in the, you know, China treason thing, the CCP treason stuff. And Trump's going really ham right now. So uh, that's why I uh, because the 2018 executive order that the reports do out this Friday, once Trump starts taking action, he will have the power to just simply seize and steal everyone's stuff. So that's obviously going to be very bad for AstraZeneca and then uh, the price tanks. So it's kind of like Grand Theft Auto 5, right? And then uh, you got profit off of it. So that's why I bought like a cheap put just to, you know, gamble a little. Uh, it's already up a little bit. Uh, and here's my AMD calls because I went on a bag talk and then there's a new guy called Mr. Jules and he talked a lot about AMD. So the next morning, I immediately went out and just bought AMD because I actually looked at the metrics for AMD. Very solid. It's actually way better than I initially thought. I knew AMD was getting good right? because, you know, they, they're finally not getting cucked by Intel with all the antitrust and anti-competitive anti stuff. But I did not know they were that good. Like, they're cheaper. They're better. Um, I mean, it literally, they literally have everything going for them. And then Intel apparently is doing crap. I mean, I still have an Intel chip and it works pretty well, but AMD is even better. So, anyway, my first call was this one, this 120 strike, and that's already up like a million dollars, exactly six million dollars. All right, and then I'll, I'll be making another six million dollars every month at, uh, for every five bucks that AMD goes up. And then I literally just bought this, uh, well, it says 10 a.m., so I probably bought it 25 minutes ago. That's why, I, that's why my stream started a little later than normal because you know i i put in five thousand dollars i sold a couple sh like 15 shares of region financial which obviously i hid in here and then i straight up bought four calls for the next strike 125 for amd and i have until january 2022 so regardless of who becomes president this should do very well obviously i still prefer trump because you know uh because if, if because, first of all, if Biden gets into the office, these lockdowns are never ha uh, ever ending, right? They steal an election, 
and the lockdowns have proven to global pedo that they can do whatever hell they want so i mean yeah they're not gonna let that go so yeah all right let's refresh this and let's look at the uh fake news terror stories on yahoo um yeah so the markets are trying to breach 30k but personally i just don't see that happening there's just too much uncertainty in the market who's going to be president what's going to happen is trump really going to cross the rubicon which so far he has been doing uh, let me see does he have a new tweet for me to farm no okay and i like that he's specifically going after uh all of them all right republican or democrat it doesn't matter the people who have screwed america up the ass without vaseline trump's you know screwing them back yes white pills I did listen to Nick Fuentes' show yesterday. I'm just, uh, uh, I'm a little disappointed that he's just very, like, you know, I mean, I know he said he's white pulled and stuff, but, like, uh, I think he said Insurrection Act has basically no chance, like 1%. Um, obviously, he doesn't read Q, which, I, which is understandable. But he, like, I'm surprised he didn't mention too much about the dueling electors right that's very important and then mike pence that's also really important because mike pence holds a lot of power usually the vice president doesn't do shit, but mike pence in particular is very important for so many reasons so i just wish that nick would push that more do you recommend crypto stocks for beginners i do have experience in stock to sell my pin unless you buy real estate now you bought real estate it sounds like you should be just sticking with real estate because the end game is to buy real estate and then make a rental income off of it and then you get your tax breaks because that's the ultimate tucker's paladin but for most people um crypto is better especially now because um uh, what you gonna call it because we're in the middle of a bitcoin bull run after a two and a half year bear market so it's it's just free easy money you just have to be patient and wait like i've been waiting two and a half years for this one well now it's going to be three years but i've been waiting a long time so I still have to survive another year or two. Tapped out. Yeah. I mean, people are tapping out of Trump, unfortunately, except me, of course, because people are just black and I just don't like it. I live in my home and collect rent from a roommate. Oh, damn. Yeah, it sounds like you have it made. You should just do that more often. Well, obviously, you just buy more real estate. But, yeah, if you need cash play, you can do A&D calls right now, uh, as long as they're financially feasible. Otherwise, just stick with cryptocurrency. Just buy Litecoin or Bitcoin or, you know, whatever you want. Of course, my preference is still Litecoin. Oh, and then uh, just wait a year or two. Or actually wait for me to call when I'm dumping my crypto. So, because right now it's just too much uncertainty with the, with the presidential election. Uh, and obviously we're trying to push for Trump to just screw everybody over for screwing us over. So yeah. Oh, I didn't even look at the things. So that's so that's basically the the macro, uh, the macro thingamajig, um, uh, the overall markets. Uh, it could skyrocket past thirty k, but I there's too it's just too much too too much uncertainty. Let's see, Region Financial fifteen eleven, right? Remmel's at five forty three. Yeah, so not too bad. And of course, AMD is just going up like crazy, ninety seven dollars and ten cents. So basically, we're just I'm going to make like all the losses I will have accrued and will probably accrue, except maybe these um, POTUS bets. Uh, I'll should be able to make it back, and then you know I'll dump my uh, call options. Um, let me see. So let me see. What do we got? Stocks rise, recurring some losses, investors eye stimulus. Yeah, it's I mean, I don't even care about the stimulus package at this point because it, it doesn't matter. Um, but we, we have to deal with all these traders. So and Trump's definitely going for the juggler because he's not getting anything that he wants. Nobody's nobody in the esta Republican establishment is helping Trump. It turns out that it was the Republicans who colluded with uh, Gretchen Witcher, uh, the governor of um, Michigan, to block the GOP electors. So I'm not sure if they actually were able to cast their votes. It sounded like they did, but then some people say they didn't. And then it's like, what the hell is going on? Ah, shit. So, and technically, it's not in the Constitution, December 14th. So they could just, you know, file another thing today. So, uh, yeah. Um, 
so yeah, they're they're all corrupt, including the SCOTUS, and we just have to go to town. So uh, that's just going to cause a lot of uh, chaos for sure. Dow Jones falls after Trump makes stimulus demand. Neo stock again. Yeah, I mean, at this point, Trump's not in control of anything, so he has to act now. He has to do the Insurrection Act or his 2018 executive order. He needs to stop dicking around, which so far looks pretty good. He's been he's been a lot more aggressive on Twitter. And he's actually been doing something, and law enforcement is raiding stuff, right? Uh, let me see. Uh, yes, so, and Trump realizes he needs to do the press conference to address the nation, so that's good. That's what we want. Um, let's see. All right. And this is really important. Ron Kotmunk, this Kotmunk Z guy is really good. He said, Dominion deleted the reference to the solar winds from their website, but we have the archive still. Now you see it, now you know. Now, this is important because solar winds got raided yesterday or two days ago by the FBI, the ATF, U.S. Marshals, and all the alphabet cities. <laughs> alphabet cities. Um, so we have all the data. Right. Trump has all the data. He's building his criminal case. And based on what Trump's been saying on his Twitter, uh, where is it? Because he retweeted someone specifically. Ah, uh, ah, uh, do not tamper. It's a crime. Much more to come. And law enforcement shielding machines. So Trump's even going after the shitty cops because they're in on it too. And I'm glad Trump's finally realized because Trump has no choice. If he does not do this, he will go to prison. They will probably kill him in prison, too. They're going to take all his assets. They're going to put Don Jr. in jail. They're going to put Eric Trump in jail. Uh, they might let Tiffany go because she's been pretty mute. But they can do whatever they want with her, right? Because Global Pale's in charge. Uh, and then Ivanka and Jerry Kushner are part of Big Tribe because they're very careful, right? I've got to put this on YouTube. So they're going to just steal everything. And it's just every single time, right? Uh, oh my god, I just realized. Destroy his lies every single time. I didn't even notice this. Trump said it. He... Trump said it. Hold on. I didn't even notice this, but Trump said, uh, quote, retweeted someone that said every single time. Wow. Trump's Trump's going all in. Oh shit. Oh shit. I didn't even notice this. Alright, so Trump's ready for a fight. He definitely knows Big Tribe screwing him over too. Alright, very good. So he retweeted Lynn Wood who said they should be going to jail. And I already farmed this tweet, but I'm farming it again because it got retweeted by Trump. So Trump knows he's gotta arrest people. So it's really an us or them moment, but more like Trump or them <laughs> moment you know once they deal with trump then they'll come after the rest of us but yeah so uh so yeah i don't really see anything i mean the problem is my faith and trust and all this it was already low but now it's like zero um let's see yeah so uh, there's not really much your new antitrust rules will annoy not topple big tech well that's fine i mean they're probably doing more than here in america so uh, but the good news is it seems like big tech still seems to irritate people in the establishment, so we'll let those clowns deal with each other. Um, yeah, so that's, so that's that. Um, let's get to, well, I'm not even sure if there's any point in covering GMC now because it's pretty much dead coin because BTC pop um, hasn't even bothered to contact me and they're complaining. So it's that one sub Satoshi. It's going to continue to get worse. I'm not even hovering over the thing and it keeps keeps blocking it just keeps blocking the search bar. Uh what's the next coin? Two by two? No, let's do four by four. Four by four. Because honestly I'm not logged into Crux24. I definitely don't want to do that. So uh yeah, it's at twenty-nine to thirty-three Satoshi's of Bitcoin, but you know, it's still eh, it's eventually gonna go down. I've been uh, right now I'm taking my daily mining income and converting it into Bitcoin BTT since uh, I need to replace my income stream still. And, uh, you know, DLive is a good use case for BTT, so. And on top of that, oh yeah, this is for the new people. So I went to a protest rally in Pennsylvania 
or Nick Fuentes was leading it. And then I ran into uh, this guy called Baked Alaska. So obviously, if you're not political, he's just this uh, hilarious uh, in real life streamer, usually clown jester type that we love him. So I went on, so he was live streaming and I just happened to appear on his thing. So long story short, he said he knew me for years and like, I didn't know that. And then I found out and then, uh, you know, we had a nice chat with the bag talk crew and he told me about BTT. So it's a staking token coin that you use for DLive.TV. And you basically, it's just, it's just like these coins, 404, JMC, 100 coin, and you just get free money every day, right? But of course, the caveat is what are the use cases for the crypto? And number two, does the price keep dropping? So that's always the that's always the drawback to it. That's why I don't actually am telling anybody about that. Though people should do it, but um, it's still risky. Fraud tax that and understood. I go to jail to go Trump. What? Um, I don't understand what you're saying, Joe Keeney, but um, also I don't think English is your first language. Well, the reason is because they don't want Trump to, or people like Trump to ever rise to power ever again and challenge the system. That's basically what it comes down to. So that's why they have to make an example out of Trump, and they will. Because as so long as Trump is alive, the spirit of 1776 or, you know, Jesus Christ will always uh, persist, and global pedo cannot have that. So, yeah. So that's 404. Uh, two by two. Oh god. Uh, so I've noticed this is starting to weaken too. So now it's at one to two, but it's really one, and the buy buy pressure started to decline as well. So, so basically, Mitch is just abandoning all these cryptos, and like I'm left holding the bag, and I'm just like really annoyed. Hey, the real Boston Griper. Yes. What is up, Kings? Yes. Um. So two by two will you know go down. 100 coin I'm probably oh yeah Rick's well, I probably don't care about Rick's because it's like three to four but it's the same deal uh, and that's the and that's the only one that uh, Mitch is working on so I'm kind of annoyed because I paid for all this shit but Rick, uh, Mitch keeps Rick's and then like he abandons this shit and I'm like really annoyed Johnson me a dumb question but would you donate to AF Canyons in 2020 if I have money yeah I would either donate or probably at least campaign for them or something i'm doing good yes um also i don't know why that would be a dumb question that would be a fine question but i mean the problem is it's 2022 and it's, it's about money like money is tight for me right now it's actually going to get a lot tighter actually yeah you just came in uh so predicted already closed settled half like a third or 40 percent of my bet so i'm already down 5500 bucks and I'm about to lose like six, seven thousand dollars here. So we're all going to be hitting. Uh, so, I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to have money to donate, and it's too soon. Um, but I know I can at least do rallies and stuff, like go to rallies, do speeches. You know, I, I have a really good suit and stuff too. So I would definitely try to contribute something, all right? But. Um, but I mean, if anything, I don't know. If we have the money or infrastructure to run our own candidates. Of course, we'll try. I think it'll be a lot easier to just simply primer uh, to make the GOP lose so that the Democrat candidate wins. Um, it's definitely the nuclear option, but at this point, like I, I just don't even care. Um, but you know, we'll see what Nick Fuentes says when he appears on uh, Infowars later, because he said he was appearing on there. Yeah, exactly. It depends. Obviously, people who have backed us in the Republican Party will vote for them and do whatever little we can to contribute. You know, Paul Gosar. I think Mo Brooks is generally pretty good too. Um, those are the two that I am thinking of off the top of my head. All right, so 100 coins doing pretty well. The buying and selling has to stabilize. Of course, the total amount still suck. It's still less than a percent of a Bitcoin, but you know, 2.7 to 3.6 Satoshis of Bitcoin. So we'll do all right for a while. I was thinking that. You know, teach everybody how to mine cryptocurrency like I do, which is what this is, and then just give you guys free money. But I don't know if that's going to work because we still need people that can program and create use cases. Uh, and right now, that just doesn't seem to be uh, happening, especially if Trump does actually lose on January 20th. Because aside from myself, everyone's, well, I guess Major Patriot, everyone sounds very black pill technically. 
and they're just assuming that Joe Biden's pretty much going to win, which I find irritable. But that's just how it goes. Uh, speed coins at 13 to a little under 40 Satoshis of a Bitcoin, so it's actually very volatile. Uh, oh, this means I actually got my sell order filled somewhere around here. Um, let me actually check my crux, actually. Uh, let me see. Let's go up to speed coin, or maybe I sold it yesterday. Okay, well I'm gonna put in a new order because these crypto, it's 100 coin and speed coin are supposed to be worth a lot more than it should be, and it's such bullshit that it's not. All right, well I'll get 50,000 satoshi. So this is me right here, 1350. So, you know, this is worth like what, 51,000, 51,300 satoshi of Bitcoin. So that's like. What, 10, 15, 20 bucks or whatever. 20 bucks. The movement should save its finance for the prior in 2022. The problem is the big dollars, Koch buyers, they will make sure AF guys can't win. Yeah, that's the exact problem. The other problem is election. Like, this is, I, I'm, I'm surprised even Nick didn't mention this. How are we going to get around election fraud? Because if you can steal the presidency from Trump, you can literally steal any election that you want and it's just a push of a button. So, like, so. Like everything else basically doesn't matter. Like how, how the hell do we deal with this? It's like, it's very difficult, you know, but are you going to AF PAC in Orlando? I kind of want to go to AF PAC in Orlando, but again, money is now an issue, especially because this predicted F word jury bullshit, you know, really hit me hard. So I, uh, I'm going to say no, but I do want to go. I do want to go, but I have to pay for plane tickets uh actually i might have to pay for a hotel uh so i don't know uh i, I think the answer is going to be leaning towards no because again i just don't have the money because i already spent all that shit doing all the protests right i went to two i was going to go to one in dc but then i got fucked so now i'm no money so i didn't go and it, so it sounded like it was disorganized during the weekend anyway you know, at least according to nick it was pretty pretty chaotic so yeah, it's, uh, I'm just irritated because I do want to go, but if I do go, I'll obviously let people know on my Twitter, um, but for now, I'll just say no because I just don't have money. Like, I'm, I'm getting fucked. Uh, there is a, a person who does drop shipping, so maybe that will help, um, but yeah, either that or I teach myself poker because before I did computer programming to make my game here. And some nice Russian guy actually upvoted my game, so that makes it even better for me. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was teaching myself how to play poker. I'm actually kind of good at it. So, you know, also I kind of like doing these live streams, but then I need some filler content. And, you know, I could play video games, but eventually that gets a little stale. Um, especially since I don't have money to buy them, you know, I, I guess I could pirate it, but I think I'd rather just play poker, and then I'll, I can stream myself playing poker, and then you actually watch me win or lose real money in a tournament, so, because there's always like, I forgot what they call it, but it's like these fixed, fixed money tournaments, and if you reach third place, you get a little bit of money, you reach second place, you make profit, and if you get first place, you get almost all the money, so, like 70% of the entire pool. So it's it's very good. Like everything's fixed, so your your losses are already fixed at like, you know, a dollar twenty five, a dollar fifty, and there are eight people also chipping in the same amount, and that's what you're competing for. So yeah. So yeah, I have a very good poker course. I'm gonna probably go back to that because I just need money. So I I need money. And we need content. So it'd be kinda nice to kind of get away from all this shit. Especially if, you know, Joe Biden does become tyrant in chief. Well, more like Kamala Harris becomes tyrant in chief. It's gonna be bad. It's gonna be bad. Anyway, so that's JMC. It's 100. So yes, we are good. But at least Speedcoin's doing all right. So I'm glad with that. So I could use some. I can. I need money. We all need money. Um, I think I kind of went over a lot of the Trump stuff too. So I guess we could skip over this. Yeah, he's not tweeting anything new, which is good because that means I don't have to. Uh, whatever. What time? What's our time span? 34 minutes. Okay, cause I want to try to keep this below an hour. Bitcoin price tip to consult. Ah. Bitcoin price tip to consolidate before continuing bull run now. Uh, Fidelity back crypto trading platform also secures license in Hong Kong. Uh, Fidelity crypto. Oh, okay. 
So Fidelity is opening up a crypto shop or something like that in Hong Kong, despite the crackdown. Okay. All right, so they're probably working. Um, they also have to work with Beijing, the CCP. So, Commander and Thief. Oh yeah, that's a pretty good one too, Artman. Command ah, Commander and Thief. Ah, oh, shit. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, this thing is unusually painful. I had this last night too. I was hoping that when I went to bed today, it would fix itself. But I didn't get a good night's sleep yesterday because I was still kind of molding without feeling angry about the predicted deaths. I didn't actually fall asleep probably to around like 4 a.m. and I woke up at like 8.50. WEF test tracking carbon... Oh my god. I mean, technically I'm happy that, you know, more people are using blockchain. In fact, a lot of the uh, shit-lib spammers in my notifications, a lot of them actually do crypto or trash crypto. So the simple fact they understand crypto is a good sign. Rich Dad Poor, oh, so that's Robert Kiyosaki explains why Bitcoin will see 50 grand next year. Wow, he's being very conservative about 50 grand. Uh, Citigroup's at 318k. I called 500,000 in April 2019. But either way, we all know it's going to go up. Half pack will be so big. Play chess. Well, I can't make money directly off of chess, but that's why I want to play poker instead. Plus, I, poker is actually easier and simpler and more fun for me than chess, even though I'm okay at chess. Um, but. Because I bought a six hundred dollar actually uh, poker nerve. This is the course I bought. This is like one of the really good courses. I think this is the URL. I bought the full course, so I have the whole thing. But it's like six hundred bucks, I think. Well, that was back then. Yeah, this is the one I got. The premium MTT training uh from beginner to pro so th this this is really good and yeah i was actually winning poker games because of this guy right in fact i remember i actually i think it's called push right i was being very aggressive when i was playing one-on-one -on -one with someone and i just kept pushing the pot on him he's like uh he's, he he kept folding and folding and then when he finally decided to call right because i know how to play the cards at the time i had like what three aces or something i completely wrecked his ass and he just left the table um so you know, like the, these strategies work right but you know i got to whatever so so i think he raised the price it used to be like 590 or something like that yeah but this is the course that i have to go through it's got really good shit so uh crypto is okay yeah i mean i don't yeah i don't know why so a lot of people trash crypto like it's not good for day trading but that's because it's day trading. Day trading is never good. You want to buy crypto at a time like now when it's in the middle of skyrocketing and then you ride the skyrocket and then you dump before the market dumps. And then now we have ledgerx.com, my account, right? You know, I'm going to be shorting Bitcoin too when that happens. Ah, it's interesting to see the deal on blockchain. Yes, yes. And it's only going to get stronger because this is the internet 2.0 basically. And of course, the global payday is going to want to control this too. So every launch is complete suite for Bitcoin DeFi and risk. Coin shares and BNC support new hard performance DeFi derivatives exchange. I mean, I don't really see any important articles there. I mean, they're not even mentioning um, Coinbase's letter to the U.S. Treasury. Bitcoin price tipped to consolidate before continuing bull run in 2021. Eh. Can blockchain be overcome? Obviously, it can be. Uh, Pompeo breaks down his 100k Bitcoin outlook for 2021 interview with yeah this guy's like a hardcore Bitcoin bull run very like yeah, like like you cannot convince him of black pills. How did the Turkish crypto go survive 2020? Mm, yeah, your rehabilitation plan, investigation traces, scam Bitcoin celeb ads to Moscow. Yeah, everyone's always just trashing Moscow, but. Oh, bullshit. Finance Visa cards are now shipping to European customers. Well, I, mean, I guess we'll just read this because I literally do not see Italian Banca Generale to debut crypto services next year. So that's good. Italy's getting into crypto. So the more people that use crypto, the better. And then this bull run will be the biggest ever yet. Three reasons why Bitcoin just dropped. Oh, okay, we don't care. All right, so we, I'm just going to read one article. I need a thumbnail for this. Uh, let's see, we went over Trump. Uh, well, he's been pretty quiet lately. Uh, that's me. Uh, actually, I do want to see, does Major Patriot have anything? It looks a good movie. 
cocaine, Mitch. Uh, Breaking Senator Michigan Michigan contract President elect Biden. Oh my god. Not very good. Exactly. I did found this. Every adjudicated ballot has an audit mark standing which shows guy which votes were changed to which candidates. Oh shit. Yeah, the watermarks are real. Alright, well Trump knows everything, so it's up to Trump to actually freaking do something. Every uh okay. Um watermarks are real. Audit marks are real. We know everything. Now we must take the final step to arrest and charge all these traitors. Let's spam this here. Oh. Stolen from us. I have to admit, it is kind of nice I'm logged into Twitter, so I don't have to keep alt tabbing and then you guys just see a blank whatever. Also, you could just see me actually just farm tweets in real time to keep throwing the thing. Like, it kind of sucks too, because in a way, my. I mean, it's nice that my Twitter profile is growing, but it winds up, doesn't really wind up mattering. Because uh, they're just going to censor everybody. Twenty. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that's right. Twitter did like a massive band wave last night too. 23,336. Yeah, I was on my way to 23.4K, but I guess I guess a lot of people got nuked by Twitter. No, it's actually did Nick. Yeah, he did. All right. That's about right. Okay. Well, I mean, that's just how it goes. Well, there's predicted. Oh, man. Are they already settling bets yet again? Oh, no, actually, this thing is... Oh, for a second there, I thought I lost 3,200 and I was looking at the wrong column. All right, so this is the one real quick. See, my state bets were actually up yesterday, and then predicted the signs to just settle it anyway and just steal all my money. And it's like, very, very it's very G word. Uh, oh well. Binance Visa cards are now shipping to European customers. Ether payments are now available to Binance Visa card, which is now shipping to customers in the EEA region. Oh, and if someone's wondering why I have the blue ice pack on my head. I'm sure someone can try and can explain it. Yeah, that's a pretty nice. Uh, thumbnail picture. Binance, the world's largest crypto exchange, has started shipping its fiscal Binance Visa cards in the European economic area. Oh, that's what EA is. <clears throat> According to December 14th announcement, so it was yesterday, users in the EEA will soon receive physical Binance Visa cards. Customers have already ordered the card can now complete the delivery process in their card wallet. In conjunction with the debut of physical cards in EEA, Binance has also added Ether support to its crypto debit card. <clears throat> So customers can now pay with the old coin. Simply transfer Ethereum to your card wallet and drag it to the other coins to make it the preferred payment asset. So, so the Binance card is not MasterCard or Visa card, so that's kind of good. But then the Binance Visa card is obviously Visa, so they can still censor people. So, I mean, that's still the downside, but at least people are still using crypto. The physical Binance Visa card has a daily spending limit of 8,700 euros. That's actually pretty nice. While daily ATM withdrawals amounts to 290 euros, 350. As announced, the cards feature up to 8% cash back and zero fees until 2021, which is right around the corner. Binance officially announced a DDD debit card in initially offering virtual Binance. What is that? Binance Visa card and wants a physical card. Since announcing its plans for Binance. Why do they keep keyword stuffing this? In April 2020, Binance is actively pushing the new product. We only have the card in the EA. Binance has announced an expansion intention to expand worldwide and launch crypto debit card cards in countries such as Russia, Moscow. Yeah, because the Russian guard is very hostile towards crypto typically. But I think Russian people themselves, like everybody else, does like crypto. So, Met Head Mitch. Yeah. I, call, I just call him Mitch McCuckle. So. Yeah, but we'll see. We'll see who gets cut the, the uh, last, right? Because as long as Trump continues his little rampage on Twitter, and he has been doing some actions, or at least law enforcement has, uh, there has never been anything like this in our country. Yeah. Well, I don't need to retweet that, but um, then we'll farm the tweet. Uh, actually, yeah, because I do, because I am trying to push for insurrection actor or something like it. Mitch, a couple of things, yeah. Insurrection Act now. Um, 
We have all the data. Audit marks on adjudicated ballots. Frankfurt, Germany server. Um, fuck, there was another one. Solar winds raid. Traders had their chance to come claim, but they stole our collection. Because the reason why I keep repeating some of these words and keyword stuff as well is uh, for the SEO on Twitter. We only need to do it once. Okay, so let's farm that. Yeah, I mean, I can't go on any notifications because tech that might be violation of privacy. No, not really because it's all public. But, oh, wow, I can actually feel the heat on the spot that's irritated. Uh, okay, uh, let's try to get the colder part here. So, yeah. So, yeah, but you can see a lot of the shit libs just getting mauled at me. So, uh, let's see, Paul, and there, okay. Oh, and that was the end of it. So anyway, I should probably end this. Um, I'm trying to think, because I did say I was going to do a political stream after this. Uh, but I think we kind of caught... Well, <clears throat> let me think. What do I want to talk about? Joe Biden, black pills, what should conservatives do? I mean, I guess we could kind of talk about that. I mean, I still, I'm still kind of formulating something in my head, but... Uh, well, what else is also formulating is this freaking stupid pain up here, too. Um, I don't know. Do you guys want me to like do another stream after this? Because I think I kind of roughly covered everything here. Uh, because you know we still have January six. We still have Trump going ape shit. Because that's what I'm trying to push for. Because Trump needs to go ape shit. Actually, you know what? We'll do a brief stream after this. We'll just do that. Because let's just keep this video short so I can make sure Bitshoot processes this dumb video. Um, and they and they and they and they have their full funding goal. Right, they're actually at a hundred percent or higher. So, uh, and now they're actually above target, so that's good. So, hopefully, that means they're getting more servers. So, anyway, um, if you like what you saw, read or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from, or on my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio or Real Johnson Chan at Bitshoot. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page. So we can continue growing this community. Uh, and hopefully I won't have to put an ice pack on my head because it hurts. So, um, all right. So I'm going to end the stream, right? So I upload this video and then I'll put, so that probably means I need like another five to six minutes and then, you know, just stick around, go take your break. And then I'll, you know, I have to come up with a title for the stream. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. so I'll, I'll I'll you know so you know we'll we'll, we'll do that. So uh, yeah. So anyway, I will see you all next week. For those of you who are just watching uh, on YouTube, uh, as usual. And let's see, next week is December twenty second. So we'll have to see what Trump decides to do because that'll be a few days after the uh, DNI report is due on Friday, right? With the twenty eighteen executive order. Uh, I do expect lots of chaos. Uh, long term, the markets will do very well because obviously no matter what happens, the markets will go up. Uh, the only issue happens to be who's going to be in charge of all the money making, or rather money stealing. Uh, so that will be uh, that will be the thing we will watch. All right, so thanks for watching, everybody, uh, on the YouTube. Uh, if you're waiting for the next live stream, that will be in 10 minutes. So either way, I will see you either in 10 minutes or next week. Yeah, thanks. Johnson Chan, JMC Coin, 100 Coin, oh, Speed Coin, uh, Seditionist Tower Defense. My God, I actually have a lot of shit here to promote. Um, oh, and here's the thumbnail. All right. New stream in five ten minutes because I gotta go to the bathroom and upload uh, this thing.